gather yet again during this beautiful week of Holy Week, specifically this evening, of course, to commemorate our Lord's crucifixion on the cross. His crucifixion is the supreme example of love. We hear the word love all the time in our society. It's one of the most uh, used words in so many places. And for us as Orthodox Christians, love is fulfilled in the cross. This again, the crucified one before us, is the perfect definition of love. And all we can do is just be grateful for our God and how he feels about us and how he feels about the entire world. Because creation and humanity was never meant to experience death. This was not part of God's good creation, but we know that because humanity wanted to go their own way and leave from the source of life, sin and death entered the world. We could have had a creator that said, well, too bad for them. They disobeyed me. I told them this is the way to life and could have washed his hands with us. But we see the opposite. It's the opposite. He actually stops at nothing. Our creator stops at nothing to restore us and to overturn the curse. And the only way that could happen was through his own sacrifice. Today, sin has its day. Evil has its day. But we know that this day of evil comes to an end in just a couple days. And we know that this symbol of love triumphs over hatred and evil. There is nothing greater than God's love. And it is this love that renews the world. It is this love that we will celebrate as victorious in just a couple of days. But on this day, we contemplate and reflect on our Lord enduring all that he endured, the suffering, the beatings, the slappings, the spitting, the scourging, and ultimately the cross for us and for the world. And so it is good that we are here, my brothers and sisters, to reflect and to praise our God for his great sacrifice, which is again for all of us and for his whole creation. May the Lord and his love always be with you, and may we extend that love to all that and all those that we encounter. God bless you all. We continue our services this Holy Week tomorrow on Holy and Great Friday, where we continue the remembrance of his